Hi friends, today in this video I will show you how to block the VPN like Hotspot Shield, BetterNet and other free VPNs. Mainly these VPNs mainly we are using for to bypass the uh, blocked uh, networks and to watch um, free movies or any other website that is blocked. Uh, blocked by uh, uh, by our ISP so uh, this is big problem in uh, suppose if you are using in uh, enterprise network like this so today I will show you how to block this one in with the software's uh, firewall okay so this is one uh, in the software's community post I when I check I see this one and uh, I followed this one but it is not yeah, not yeah, any this much uh, complicated so the first step is that first we need to go to the application and we need to add this uh, rules in the application I mean the in the filter we need to add this uh, uh, filters okay so I will show you so this is my firewall okay my surface fire firewall dashboard this one the first thing what we have to do is that we have to go to the applications and currently I uh, first I will show you my rules which are which are, uh, which rules are I am uh, which rules I am using for the application and work first I will show you then only you will understand I am is using the default network okay so I will show you my web policy MYR policy and my for the application I am using block very high risk this one also okay so the first step uh, we are we need to go to the applications and this one I am using block very high risk application apps this one I am using okay so just click on it and we need to add this rules in the application okay I will show you first one DNS DNS multiple queue name DNS script mm -hmm. then if you want you can op uh, also block open VPN also okay and non SSL and TLS certificate on uh, port 443 and open door and open internet open VPN and cube okay this this uh, this must be this uh, you, you must enable this one and click done and select the schedule all the time and save okay this is one important thing okay now if we go to again the risk and you have to block I think better uh, better for security in the net uh, in the enterprise network but better to block SSH also this uh, block SSH also okay and uh, and select the mobile category also mobile category mobile category no need but uh, if you want you can enable but this is this is the main uh, in order to block the VPN this, this is the main okay the first in the first row you can see this is the main category DNS multiple uh, queue name and the uh, DNS script uh, just open VPN known as a certificate open uh, open door open internet open VPN and queue this must be enabled and after you have to click the name and the schedule will be all the time and save okay so this is this one is colors and uh, let me just cross check once again one moment okay yeah one more thing you have to add this proxy and tunnel also and make to deny also okay this one also important and if you want to enable uh, disable uh, if you want to block the peer-to-peer uh, uh, -peer like torrent files you if you want to block then you can also select this one and uh, and uh, uh, denny make it denny 
and, and this one also okay after you save so now we, we created these uh, rules okay application rule now the next thing is that we need to go to the web we need to check the web policy also i am currently using this myr policy okay you can see here in use one okay so i am expanding this tab and here the main thing is that we need to block Anonymizer, anonymizer. We need to block. We need to add anonymizer. This one, this one. We need to add in the category. Okay, and I make it turn on. And let me check what is the another thing that. No, 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 like this. Yeah, first one is along with the P two P and the proxy tunnel category we need to add and see this, this is the step what i done in the uh, application filter okay so now that's completed now the next uh, important uh, setting is that in the web if you go to the web, uh, web menu and in the general settings go to the general settings we have to and I tick this block unrecognized SSL protocol also. Just tick this one. Okay. After apply. So this one also will be done. Now we will go to the rules and policy and default network. From the default network, this is my default policy. Okay, I'm using my default. The source will be LAN and the source network and devices any all the time, in scheduled time all the time, and the destination zone WAN and destination network any. And this is important in the service. This is the important thing. Okay, uh, here in this community they just specified only HTTPS, HTTP and DNS, ICMP, SMTP etc. This is the only important thing. But in some scenario, in my scenario, I just enabled, uh, you can see I just enabled FTP and uh, NTP, NFS and POP3, POP3S, SIP and TCP also I enabled because why i enabled a tcp because i have see here you can see that i have one uh, storage a network storage also suppose if i disable my uh, my tcf uh, tcp connection i mean tcp service from the firewall i can't access my uh, storage a network storage so that's why uh, depends upon your requirement you can enable your um, service also okay but don't add udp because most of the uh, why i am telling is that most of the vpns they are using uh, they are using udp protocol so always uh, i didn't add udp uh, protocol here you can see that see i didn't add any udp protocol okay so make sure first service i put dhcp dhcp6 ftp h323 http https icmp imap imap s and ipv6 over ipv4 this one sometimes you need because if you f if you disable this maybe you feel that the internet connection will be slow so i think better to enable this one also that is depends upon you and nfs network storage okay uh, and ntp uh, for the network time protocol and pop 3 pop 3 s sip smtp okay okay these these are the important actually see here already they specified here these are the important okay now what i will do is that i will make sure all your settings are correct and also uh, you have to make sure block QC protocol this one must be enabled see in the web filtering block queue protocol 
and scan http and decrypted https this must be enabled u0 dev protection and this one is depends upon your requirement but i enable this one okay and uh, from the application filter i already selected my policy see this is my policy uh, this one block very high risk okay after that save I saved now I will show you uh, whether my VPN is working or not okay so what I need to do I, I will show you whether it is working or not see I installed already one free VPN for Chrome okay if you go to extension and from the open Chrome from the Chrome uh, extension, you can just free VPN. Okay, VPN. See, I already installed this one. Okay, now let me try to connect. Okay, it's already installed. You can see. Okay, I'm connecting, trying to connect. See, it's connected. First time it's connected. After that, automatically it is disconnected also. Now I will show you uh, in the uh, in the log log viewer. Let me open the log viewer, and from the log viewer, I will select application filter. From the application filter, I will filter uh, last ten minute, and see denied. 5 8 see 2 minutes ago uh, it is denied see let me show you it says, yeah this is denied you can see so this is how we will block the vpn vpn connection in sophos firewall i hope you understand okay suppose if you didn't understand uh, you can just comment and comment on the uh, following video okay please subscribe to my channel